everyone, this is teacher Marilyn and for this video, tuturuan ko kayo about perimeter. So, yung perimeter na i-discuss ko dito, meron itong mga kasamang mga sample problems uh, para makita nyo kung paano yung na-apply yung concept ng perimeter sa math. So, pag sinabi natin perimeter, this refers to the distance around a two-dimensional shape or this is simply the length of the outline of a shape. So, para pwede mo siyang imagine na ganito, kung meron kang alambre o meron kang wire, and then, gusto mo siyang gawing um, rectangular frame. Okay? So, para magawa mo siyang rectangle, di ba kailangan mong i-bend yung wire? So, kapag binend mo yung wire, okay? So, yung pinakahaba ng wire na yun na kailangan mo para makabuo ka ng rectangular frame, that is equal to the perimeter of the rectangle. So, for example, sa rectangle, di ba meron tong length at saka meron siyang width. And yung two parallel sides natin is parehas or equal sila. So therefore, for example, dito sa perimeter ng rectangle, pwede natin siyang compute as W plus L plus W plus L. So kung isisimplify natin to using algebra, so pwede natin siyang isimplify as 2W plus 2L. So, ito yung formula sa paghanap ng perimeter ng rectangle. Ito yung perimeter. This is just equal to the sum. Okay? Sum of all sides. Tayo dito yung triangle na merong sides na A, B, and C. So, para mo yung perimeter nito, so, kailangan mo lang gawin, i-add mo lang yung sides na A, B, and C. Now, for example, meron ka namang square. So, yung square, di ba meron siyang uh, four equal sides? So, S, 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 and S. So, para makumpute natin yung perimeter, so, i-add lang natin yun. S plus S plus S plus S. So, pag sinimplify natin to using algebra, this is 4S or 4 times the side. So, yun ang iba lang sa lahat ng perimeter, yung circle. Kasi ang perimeter ng circle, ang tawag dyan is circumference. Now, yung circumference natin, meron tayong dalawang formula. So, yung una, C is equal to pi times R, uh, times D. So, dito, yung D is the diameter. So, yung diameter, yun yung um, distance from one point of the circle to another point. So, that's your D. So, dito, yung pi, ginagamit natin usually is yung 3.1416. Although, napakahabang number nito. Okay? Now, yung isa naman, yung... Another formula for circumference is 2 pi r. Okay, so yung 2 pi r naman kapag given ang radius. So, ang radius is kalahate ng diameter. Okay? So, yan yung mga common na mga equations na ginagamit natin sa pag-compute ng perimeter. So, bibigyan ko kayo dito ng different examples ng word problems kung saan nyo ito may apply. Okay, in this example, the perimeter of rectangle is 42 inches. If the width is 8 inches, what is the length? Okay, so, sulit pa na natin yung given. So, meron tayong perimeter na 42 inches. Meron tayong width na 8 inches. So, ang pinapahanap sa atin is the length. So, alam natin, the formula ng paghanap ng perimeter ng rectangle is P is equal to 2L plus 2W. So, para masagot natin yung value ng L, so, ta-transpose muna natin itong 2W dito sa left side. So, P minus 2W equals 2L. So, para masolve ang length, so, di-divide natin both sides of the equation by 2. So, yung L ngayon, or the length, is equal to P minus 2W over 2. So, ang gagawin ngayon natin, is substitute natin yung values. So, yung perimeter is 42, and then 2 times W is 8, divided by 2. So, meron tayong 42 minus 16 over 2. 26, so over 2. So, therefore, ang length natin is equal to 13 inches. In this next example, the length of a rectangle is 5 more than the width. What are the dimensions of a rectangle if the perimeter is 34? So, ang given sa atin dito is perimeter na 34. So, hindi sinabi yung unit. So, there's no need to put a unit. Pero sabi dito, yung length daw ng rectangle L is 5 more than the width. So, kung meron tayong width na W, 
mas an daw siya, mas malaki daw siya ng 5. Kasi sabi dito, more than. So, magiging equation natin is L is equal to W plus 5. So, ang tinatanong dito is, ano daw yung dimensions ng rectangle? So, pinapahanap sa atin is yung value ng length and width. Rectangle. So, meron tayong P is equal to 2L plus 2W. So, dito, papalitan natin yung P ng 34. And then, we have 2 times L. So, sabi dito yung L is just W plus 5 plus 2 W. So, pag sinimplify natin to, meron tayo dito 34 and then i-distribute natin yung 2 dito. So, meron tayong 2 W plus 10 plus 2 W. So, pag sinimplify natin, meron tayong 34 and then combine natin tong dalawa. So, meron tayong 4 W plus 10. So, next step, itatranspose natin yung 10 dito sa left side. So, magiging 34 minus 10 equals 4W. Para masolve ang W, divide natin both sides of the equation by 4. So, ngayon, meron tayong W is equal to 34 minus 10 is 24 over 4, which is equal to 6. So, therefore, ang ating width ay 6. So, ang ating length is, ang sabi rito, W plus 5. So, ibig sabihin, that is 6 plus 5. Or, therefore, L is 11. So, ito yung dimensions ng ating rectangle. 6 by 11. So, hanapin natin yung perimeter ng blue figure. Okay, so, para hindi kayo malito, magsimula muna kayo sa isang side. And then, gawin nyo siyang paikot. Okay, yung pagsulat ng equation. So, sabi natin, ang perimeter is just the sum of all sides. So, i-add lang natin lahat ng sides. So, magandang technique dito, bibilogan mo, i-cross out mo yung mga given na natapos mo nang ilagay dyan sa equation. So, dito ako start sa 10. So, hindi ko na susulat yung unit kasi lahat naman sila centimeter. So, 10 plus this side, that's 10 again, plus Itong side na to, hindi given. Pero kung papansin ninyo, dito sa square, that one is just equal to 8. Yan. So, pareha sila na 8. Okay? So, bilugan natin yung 8. Plus another 10. Ito yun. Then, plus another 10. So, this side. And then, itong side na to, parallel siya dito sa 10 cm dito. So, therefore, this is also 10. So, plus 10. And then, plus 8. Plus, this side is parallel to this side. So, same length lang sila. So, therefore, this one is also 10. So, add na natin. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Plus 8, plus 8. So, meron tayong 16. So, therefore, ang perimeter nito is 76 centimeters. Brad is putting up a 10-foot diameter circular flower bed in his yard. He will put plastic edging along the flower bed. How many feet of edging will Brad need to enclose his flower garden? Okay, so ang given sa atin is diameter. So that is 10 feet. So ang sabi dyan, maglalagay daw siya ng plastic edging along the flower bed. So along the flower bed, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin hanapin yung perimeter ng flower bed para malaman natin kung ano yung um, kung gaano kahaba yung kailangan niya na edging. Okay, so since yung perimeter nito, this one is a circle, so that means we're looking for the circumference. So since given ang diameter, so pwede natin gamitin ang formula na C is equal to pi B. So yung pi is 3.1416 and then yung D meron tayong 10 so, therefore, yung circumference natin is 31.4. Niround off ko na lang siya to the nearest 10. So, the circumference or um, Brad needs 31.4 feet of edging. Now, let's consider this last example. An asteroid hit the Earth and created a huge round crater. Scientists measure the distance around the crater as 78.5 miles. What is the diameter of the crater? So, given tayo dito ng, um, sabi dito, distance around the crater. So, kung distance around the crater, that means it refers to the circumference. So, that is 78.5 miles. So, nga hanapin natin is the diameter. So, we know yung formula for circumference na pi d. 
So, para masolve ang D, kitipay natin both sides of the equation by pi para makancel siya dito. So, D is equal to C over pi. So, ang circumference natin is 78.5 miles. I-divide natin siya sa 3.1416. Is equal to 25 miles.